What's up, best fans? I'm Sharon Bell, hanging out today with you, counting down the top eight most memorable moments in pop culture for 2015. Coming in at number eight is Taylor Swift's open letter to Apple Music. When Apple announced that they would be offering the Apple Music streaming service free to fans for the first three months, Taylor tweeted to them with a link to her open letter on her Tumblr page. In her letter, she says, I'm not sure you know, Apple Music will not be paying writers, producers, or artists for those three months. I find it to be shocking, disappointing, and completely unlike this historically progressive and generous company. She concludes with, It's not too late to change this policy and change the minds of those in the music industry who will be deeply and gravely affected by this. We don't ask you for free iPhones. Please don't ask us to provide you with our music for no compensation. Taylor's letter totally paid off because the very next day, Apple executive Eddie Q tweeted back to her and announced that they will be paying artists even during the free trial. Coming in at number seven, the wrong Miss Universe winner was announced. Miss Universe 2015 is Columbia! The host of Miss Universe 2015, Steve Harvey, wrongfully named Miss Columbia the winner when she was actually supposed to be the first runner-up. Not sure how none of the staff working at the event were able to correct him sooner. They already handed Miss Columbia her crown, her flowers, and her sash, yet nobody seemed to hesitate, so perhaps no one working the event had any idea either? So embarrassing. It probably would have been better to just leave her as the winner to avoid looking this unorganized. The poor girl who actually won was Miss Philippines and looked super awkward getting named Miss Universe at the end of the show when they removed the crown from Miss Columbia to give to her. Pretty sure Steve will no longer be hosting Miss Universe in the future. Coming in at number 6, Bruce Jenner becomes Caitlyn Jenner. In April, during a 2020 interview with Diane Sawyer, Jenner came out as a transgender woman. In June, Caitlyn debuted her new image and appeared on the cover of Vanity Fair magazine with the caption, Call Me Caitlyn. She also tweeted out, I'm so happy after such a long struggle to be living my true self. Welcome to the world, Caitlin. Can't wait for you to get to know her slash me. This tweet was actually the 10th most retweeted tweet of 2015, as announced by Time Magazine. Caitlyn Jenner also gained over 1 million followers in just four hours on Twitter. Coming in at number five is Cilento's Watch Me. The debut single was released in March 2015 and the music video went absolutely viral on YouTube when it was released in June. Although it did not make the number one spot on the Billboard charts, the dance moves surely were ones to remember, including the whip and the nene. Coming in at number four, Zayn Malik leaves One Direction. He announced back in March that he would be leaving the band via Facebook in a note to fans. He stated, I'd like to apologize to the fans if I've let anyone down, but I have to do what feels right in my heart. I'm leaving because I want to be a normal 22-year-old who is able to relax and have some private time out of the spotlight. He then surprised fans by releasing one week after the breakup from One Direction, a solo demo called I Won't Mind, which got removed shortly afterwards. The band seems to be doing just fine without him though, with a successful tour and the release of their newest album, Made in the AM, which was released on November 13th. Coming in at number three is Adele's comeback. She released her first single in three years titled Hello in anticipation for her third album, 25. This song was released on October 23rd and reached number one in 28 different countries. The music video for Hello broke the Vivo record with 27 million views within 24 hours. Her album 25, released on November 20th, was also massively successful. The album sold over 3 million copies in the first week. She has admitted to having struggled writing this album and had writer's block for quite some time. We're so glad she managed to complete it though, as she's such an incredible artist. Coming in at number two is Drake's Hotline Bling. This song was definitely one of the most memorable of 2015, and although fans were excited that it never actually made the number one spot on Billboard charts, he did have massive success when the video was debuted on Apple Music. There have been memes created by fans all over the world using his video with Latin music, Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean? Rugrats theme song and the Charlie Brown theme song. Drake's dance moves can literally be used for any genre of music and it's awesome. Funny enough, the song was originally released on SoundCloud during the time of Drake's beef with Meek Mill when he also released the diss track back to back. That track actually ended up getting nominated for a Grammy as Best Rap Performance, so it looks like the Grammys were more on Drake's side. Coming in at number one is Justin Bieber's Return to Music. 
Believers worldwide rejoiced when JBU's first announced the single, What Do You Mean?, via his celebrity endorsement month-long countdown. The single debuted at number one on the Hot 100 charts, and his huge success may have been helped by the earlier release of his Where Are You Now collab with Diplo and Skrillex, as well as the Bieber Roast on Comedy Central. He then released his hugely successful fourth album, Purpose, on November 13th, following tons of amazing promo, which definitely built up hype. He released the track list for the album using cool graffiti art posted to Instagram. He appeared on Ellen several times for Bieber Week. He had a Purpose pop-up shop in Toronto, which, by the way, Best Fan was totally there, and then absolutely killed it by releasing a series of artistic music videos for all 13 tracks on the album. The number of people who now have Bieber fever after this past year is just at an all-time high. And those have been our picks for the most memorable moments of 2015. Be sure to tweet us your favorite moment of 2015, and for all your exclusive interviews, be sure to check us out at bestfan.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Sharon Bella, signing out.